going to review here is a scenario that I'm sure you come across a lot or you will come across quite often with your data sets. In this case, we're just looking at a sales data set. But the, the problem that we have to solve is that we have two dates here and we may want to analyze information or analyze our metrics over the different dates. Now, we've got it here an order date and a ship date. Now, if, you come to, if we come to the data model, you will see that we can only build one active relationship. So a solid line here is an, is an active relationship. So if I wanted to analyze information from uh, the, uh, from the order date, I would drag the date lookup table down to our order date uh, column here. And you'll see here that we get an active relationship. But what if we want to analyze by our ship date? Now, if I then try and make that relationship again from the date to the ship date, check out what happens. We get this dotted line. Now, that is what is termed an inactive relationship. Now today we're going to solve how you actually turn that on through formula because there is no way for the natural filtering uh, of, a, of Power BI or what's called context to register that ship date relationship we have created unless you turn it on, unless you virtually turn it on um, via, via a formula. So let's jump in and, and, uh, and showcase how you can actually do that. Now, first of all, I want to show you what's going to happen with the natural filtering with our active relationship. So if I create a new measure here, I'm going to call it total sales. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go sum by the revenue column. So sum by the total revenue column. And I'll drag that into the uh, canvas here and we'll look at this via the date. So we'll turn it into a table, get rid of that hierarchy. And here we have total sales by date. I've just got to sort this correctly. Cool. Now, the key thing to note here, though, the key thing to note is that this is total sales by order date. Now, sometimes you may even need to make this clear because if I've just named something total sales, how is anyone actually going to know if that is order date or ship date? Or, you know, there's you can sometimes have four different dates. Um, you could have uh, delivery date, or you could have um, you could have some other date. There's a variety of different dates. I've, I've some I've I've worked with some data sets that have six different dates. So you have to make it quite clear. You could, for instance, uh, go by order date like so. That's one way you could do it. You could also write a comment in here, and you could go, um, "This is sales uh, by by order date." Another way you could do it. <clears throat> so this is just one consideration to make when you've got multiple dates in your fact table. Now, let's jump back here and see, we need to, what if we wanted to analyze total sales, but instead we wanted to do it by ship date. Now there's no way, this, this inactive relationship does not help us at all at the moment because it, it basically doesn't register unless we turn it on and we turn it on via formula. Now the way we turn it on is, is this special DAX function called use relationship. Now what you can do with use relationship is that you can actually physically turn on one of those relationships. Now you have to use use relationship inside the calculate statement, but let's actually just run through how you, how you can do it. So we're gonna go total sales here by ship date, and then I'm gonna go equals, and then I'm gonna go calculate, and then I'm gonna go total sales by order date, Going to jump down to another line just to make it tidier, and then we're going to go use relationship, use relationship, and then we're going to go dates because it's asking us here if you see column column name one to column name two. But so basically, you're just drawing, putting the two dates you want to link up here, and then we want to put ship date, and then we'll close it off. So we've got to, we've got calculate total sales by order date, but instead of by order date, we want to go date by ship date. Now, if we now drag this into the table here, you'll see that we're getting very different results and that's because we are now calculating, we have now turned on this filter here and we're now calculating total sales. Now the date is registering this um, inactive relationship. It's turning it on so it's virtually becoming a solid line and now we're counting up by the ship date. And that's why 
uh, we're getting slightly different results here. So a pretty simple technique, but one thing um, you know, that, that trips up a lot of people as they're starting off with Power BI is that multi-dates can can really um, you know can really confuse you because sometimes um, you know you, you you feel like you might need to actually physically come in and and turn it on so you might want to come in here and go um, uh, make this relationship active you're going to get an error because the other one is inactive and you might try to turn that off and then turn that on but then other things are going to fall over so there's a number of things that can um, you know a number of issues that you can run into but this is the simplest way you can solve it by using use relationship. It's actually quite a simple formula if you think about it, because all, all we're doing is we're calculating that total sales, but instead we're changing the context of the calculation, which is what Calculate does, and then we're using use relationship to tell um, to tell the, 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 the formula engine which relationship to actually use in this particular calculation. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.